Okay, welcome back. So in this particular session, we'll be discussing about to find whether a number is a perfect number or not. So before going to this program, you should understand what is a perfect number or not. What is a perfect number, right? So a perfect number is something a number, okay, who has something positive divisors, okay, excluding the number itself. So let me make it very clear. Suppose we have a number six, right? It divisor are one. 2, 3 and 6 itself. But we are not taking this particular number because it is excluding the number. Now, if you add this particular number 1, 2 and 3 and we get the number itself, then it is called as the perfect number. Okay. So, a positive integer that equal to the sum of its positive divisor excluding the number itself. So, its divisor for a number suppose 6 is divisor of 1, 2, 3 and the sum of this divisor is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 6. Right? Okay. Now, how will you going to find out the divisor? How will you find out the divisor? So, if you have a number, okay, or say the number represented by n. So, we have to check whether this number is divisible from 1 to n. Right? Yes. In between this, from 1 to n, all any of this number either it is divising this number n or not okay now we don't go to n uh, because we said you don't last is not required so it is one it is n minus one correct now in order to check this what we need to do in any between the number if i say n okay modulus of okay let's say this is represented by something like you know something like you know i itself See, modulus of i is equal to 0. That means, okay, this number is a divisor. So, it is a divisor. Right? Yes. So, it is. if it is a divisor, that means we will put a sum here. Sum equal to sum equal to sum plus i. Right? Because this i, this i is nothing but from 0 from 1 to n minus 1 okay so from 1 to n minus 1 okay we'll see all the numbers which are whether it is a divisor or not okay so in order to take the divisor means we have to know whether it is the uh, model as operator is equal to 0 or not if it is 0 then we write sum equal to sum plus sum plus i right okay and now at the end we shall see whether this sum is equal to n or not if it is equal to n then we say this is a perfect number right so let's this example so six so we'll have from one to okay six minus one that means this is we are going till five okay so now we'll do first six mode of okay one yes equal to zero this is true so we have what sum equal to zero sum is already initialized to zero plus one okay next next we go six six mode of two is equal to also zero so now we have what sum equal to what is sum below 1 1 plus okay i is 2 right similarly this will be okay so this will be as copy paste hmm? this modulus of you know 3 is also 0 so we have 2 plus 3 is 2 plus 3 equal to 5 okay right yes now let us continue like that again so we have again 6 okay mode of 4 okay equal to 0 okay that is not true then 6 uh, mode of uh, what is it oh sorry 1 plus 2 this is 3 okay so 3 plus 3 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 so 3 plus 3 so sum is 6 so 5 equal to 0 false okay so now we got sum which is equal to 6 which is with the number itself right so this can be easily solved either using a for loop or we can use a while loop okay so let us do it 
so i have taken this number num okay right now i want to get the divisors okay so i will have the say divisors okay right and then i i write here i and the sum okay right so sum equal to equal to zero great now i use a follow for i write divisor divisor equal to one okay divisor uh, less than okay num minus one okay and i write here divisor okay plus plus mm -hmm. okay now here i write if okay, bracket num uh, mode of divisor equal to zero that means this is equal to sum plus sum equal to sum plus mm, the divisor okay right yes so now here we have to check if divisor if divisor equal to double equal to num okay printf perfect number else printf not a not a perfect number okay so we got it so now see here again the same thing we have done we put divisor so divisor starting from one with the number less than one number itself divisor plus plus now if i did if more num of more divisor equal to zero that means this is this is this is the uh, this particular is dividing this particular number okay right so we have this divisor so now we are adding sum plus divisor okay sum initially equal to zero now if the divisor it, sorry what i have written not divisor if the sum sum equal to number sorry the sum equal to number is a perfect number or it is not a perfect number okay so let us execute this num uh, program okay so somewhere i have made a mistake semicolon oh, oh 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 yeah save so let me execute it so let's put the number six so it is a perfect number right so let me ex again execute it and let us say this is nine so it is not a perfect number any other perfect number you can think okay so any let's say 89 execute it is not a perfect number okay let us take another number uh, let us uh, say 28 yes it is a perfect number because 1 2 4 7 14 so if you add it up it comes out to be 28 okay okay so it's very simple so just we need to check uh, from 1 to the number minus 1 okay this problem can be is also can be done using a while loop and it will be very uh, this also very simple okay right so using a for loop we are finding out the sum of the divisors okay and once if the sum is equal to the number itself then we say this is is a perfect number okay thank you